Hi, my name is John Farrell. I'm a patent attorney. Welcome back to my channel. So you did the hard work of inventing and launching a new product or app, but you forgot to file a patent application. It's been more than a year. Have you lost your chance to get a patent? Maybe not. In this video, I introduce two possible ways to get patent protection if you've waited too long. In a prior video, we discussed various requirements for being eligible for patent protection. To get a 20-year patent monopoly in the United States, your invention must be new, it must be useful, and it must be non-obvious. From my previous videos, you may recall that in the United States there's a 12-month grace period between public disclosure, public use, manufacture, or an offer for sale, and the time in which a patent application must be filed. And as patent rules go, this one's pretty strict. Wait one year from the date of public disclosure to filing your patent application, and you're eligible for a patent filing. But if you wait one extra day, you're not. But is all really lost if you wait longer than the 12 months? Is there any way to crawl yourself back to patent eligibility once the 12 months has passed? Well, like so many of the statutes and rules governing patents in the United States, your patent attorney may be able to help you find a workaround if you've waited too long. If you've watched my videos, you know I love exceptions and loopholes and workarounds. And I'd like to share two of them with you in this video. By the way, if you're interested in inventions and inventing like I am, hit the like button and subscribe and ring the bell. This way my videos will be easier for you to find and you'll be notified when I publish future videos on this channel. The first of these two workarounds to the 12 month statutory bar for filing a patent is an exception to the statutes. It's formally called the Experimental Use Doctrine. This doctrine gives inventors the opportunity to test the usefulness of their ideas in public for some necessary amount of time before actually filing a patent application. And in some cases, it can extend the 12 month statutory period for filing. The experimental use doctrine recognizes that in some cases, 12 months of public use may not be long enough for testing and making sure that your invention works sufficiently for patenting. You might not know within a year whether the invention actually works or not. The experimental use doctrine first came up in a Supreme Court case in 1878 in the city of Elizabeth versus American Nicholson Pavement Company. In the 1860s, a guy by the name of Mr. Nicholson installed a strip of roadway in Boston, Massachusetts using a new paving system of alternating wooden planks. The roadway was successful and some six years later, Mr. Nicholson filed a patent on his invention. Later, the city of Elizabeth, New Jersey decided to borrow the design of the alternating plank roadway patented by Nicholson. By borrow, I mean they used Nicholson's design without paying. As you may have guessed, since this is a Supreme Court citation, a patent lawsuit must have followed. And the city of Elizabeth argued the patent was invalid because Nicholson had waited too long to file a patent application. And although Mr. Nicholson had already taken the proverbial highway to heaven and was deceased, his company argued that there was no patentable invention until years after the roadway was first installed. They argued that in order to satisfy the usefulness test, remember that an invention must be new, useful, and non-obvious, Mr. Nicholson was said to have needed to build a sample piece of roadway so they could determine whether it would hold up under the New England weather and under heavy traffic conditions. In fact, this piece of roadway was only 75 feet long and it was built near a ferry station so that he could test the paving system under heavy traffic loads. To further support his contention that it was merely an experiment his company pointed out that the road was built at Nicholson's own expense and that careful records were kept of repairs and modifications made to the roadway. The Supreme Court agreed that 
experimentation was a legitimate exception to the one-year public use limit on patentability. And of course, this makes public policy sense because we don't want to fill the patent office with useless descriptions of inventions that don't work. It's important to distinguish, however, that the experimental use doctrine applies to utility. That is, whether an invention works as opposed to whether the market really wants the invention or not. It's not a marketing test. It's a utility test. So the experimental use doctrine is an exception to the novelty requirement under U.S. patent law. Now let's talk about a second extension technique, a possible workaround to the novelty requirement. What does it mean for an invention to be novel? Under patent law, clearly, it must not have been used in public or publicly disclosed or offered for sale. But the commercial definition of novelty is that the product is new, it's fresh, it's different, it's better. Given a choice between last year's product model and this year's improved product model, most people would prefer to buy an improved product. This suggests the workaround. Identify improvements or revisions to the product and focus the new patent on the features that make the product better. Let's say that three years ago you invented the bicycle. Clearly it's too late to patent the original bicycle, but what about improvements you've sub subsequently made over the last couple of years to the bicycle? Maybe you've added pedals or gears or brakes. What improvements can you protect that have made the product better since the original was introduced? This works for all kinds of inventions, including commercial products or chemicals or mixtures, software programs, and even apps. In some sense, you can back into protection on the original product by protecting the original product now with the new improvements and features. For example, who's going to want to buy a bike without brakes? Okay, so two ways around the 12-month bar for patent filing were discussed in this video. First, the experimental use doctrine, which may in some cases give us extra time needed to test the utility of a patent in public. And second, we suggested protecting the improvements as a possible way to overcome this so-called one-year bar, which prohibits filing of patents on an invention that's more than one year old. Okay, that's really all I have to say today about novelty and workarounds. If you found this video helpful, of course, would love to have you press the like button and subscribe and ring the bell. If you'll be so kind as to leave a comment below, I'll try to, to answer questions and respond to comments periodically. And as always, thank you so much for staying to the end and for liking and subscribing to my channel. It's really my privilege to be here with you. See you next time.